Greetings. In the name of Jesus Christ. As I share our contingent. This message. Part two. About the missing sheep. Praise God. My heart goes out for children. The Bible says, let the little children come unto me and forbid them not. When Jesus walked the earth, when he teach in Galilee, in Nazareth, he sat down and spoke with the little children which was so amazing. I love the, the, the message. I love how Jesus is taking our time with the little children. And that's what he expected of the disciples of us. You got school teachers. God bless each of you. I was a school teacher, a pre-K school teacher myself for a little while over in Houston, Texas. And it's something about the children. They are so small and innocent. And in my mind, coming up as a little girl, I can't never forget the time when I was looking up to my mama, looking for, you know, instructions and uh, for her to show me the way of life and you know one day I hope to be like you know somebody as a role model in my home unfortunately I was one of those that's why I'm speaking so passionate about these babies I was abused as a little girl my mother almost killed me, unmerciful, which I, I got beat with sprinkler cold, coming out of Mississippi. She covered it up for a long time. She even turned some of my sisters against me and my brothers against me to make it look like seemingly it was my fault. But it wasn't my fault. All I wanted was security and wanted to be loved. I never got it. Instead, my mother tried killing me. You know, she was an Eastern star. I believe that I was the sacrifice. If she would have killed me, that was, that was her goal. I really believe that. Nobody would have done nothing to her because she was a high class woman. My mother had a lot of status. My mother's name was pretty big in the state of Mississippi, that small town of Fort Gibson, Mississippi. Uh, she went to church, and I'm not saying nothing to discredit my mother, because before she died, I told her, thank you for giving me life, but I didn't appreciate you trying to kill me. I made peace with my mama. But this is all recorded in my book. She attended church like she was this great church woman, sung in the choir. She had so much power. My mother I'm talking about. This is a controversial message once again. I'm not on here to tickle nobody's fantasy. I'm not here to go back and forth with no one, but this is my story. That's why I'm so passionate about these babies because I was helpless. When my mother came out of the church, she was one way going in the church. When she came out, she was a di different way. Many of y'all heard about Fred Freddie Cooper. And sometimes people can appear to be this way. Some of these marriages know what I'm talking about. They can go to church with you, go hang out with your besties and your, uh, everything, but when they come back home, they turn into something else. Many of y'all know what I'm talking about. 
I don't have no reason to lie on my mother. My dad was the perfect man in my life. He got murdered by a family member. I said all this to say this. My mother had two different things going on in her life. By her being an Eastern star, close to a Freemasonry, you know Freemasons, they got secrets. Secrets run all up and down my family. Even at this point, I can't talk to some of my sisters or brothers because of the secrets. But God delivered and set me free. Praise God. Secrets. Eastern star, they do things secretly. I heard them down in the house some days they was talking about, we're going to ride the goat. I didn't understand what the goat meant. But God said he spared my life and he saved me. So I can tell others. That's why I, I can feel things like babies and children. I can hear you crying out and don't even have to be in your house or in your presence. That's how God feels you. That's how close our Savior is to the, he's the heartbeat of his people. Not just the babies, but to you, some of you crying out and hurting nobody hear your cry. You think nobody don't hear your cry. But some of us out here can hear everything and can feel your pain right now. I don't even have to lay an eye on you. But I feel the pain. I feel the trauma. I feel the screaming. And you not even, you know, it's not even coming out your mouth, but it's inside. That's what God feels. He knows the heart of man and woman and girls and boys. Some girls ran away from home because their heart, their home was so defiled. This ain't for everybody. I'm sharing this story because somebody's going to be free today. My mother wasn't brought before the justice system. How she treated me. Now I got an older sister since she did she did the same thing to her, but I, I she said she went through some trauma too. But I told her what happened to me and the younger sisters and uh, brothers. I was one of those, the black sheep that she tried to kill. And I went to her and told her, You shouldn't have never had me if you was gonna try to murder me and kill me. And she looked at me, God had umbered her, because she was one of these powerful women. You said something to her, you better have some backup. Yet, she died without confessing she was behind killing my dad and her and my, some of my family members. But she didn't take me out. I stood there and looked at her. The last beating she uh, 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 tried to unmercifully beat me. The last beating I stood and looked up in her eyes. I said, I'm not going to hit you. But I looked in her eyes and I believe she seen Jesus in my eyes. And she called somebody up. I came in one day and she said, I want you out of my house for no apparent reason. I didn't know the anointing was upon me. I didn't know I was one of those like Joseph. I didn't know. But somebody out there under the sound of my voice is going through what I, even worse than what I went through with. But my mother couldn't kill me because I had the uh, anointing on my life. I had a call on my life. And I made peace with her and I went to her. She didn't come to me. God said, forgive her. I've forgiven her. But I got out of me what I need to get out of me to talk to her and tell her, you abused me as a child. But God allowed me to walk away. And I had a brother coming out of Texas. And he said, do you want to come to Texas? That's how God delivered and set me free. I dare for you to cry out. That angel going to hear you, young child. The angel going to hear you. That's what I'm speaking about today. The angel of the Lord and kept about his people. God speaks. He got an angel sign around each and every one of you. You may be hurting. You may be getting raped right now. Raped. You may be crying out. Your daddy, own daddy may be raping you. But don't, don't give up. God's going to stand. That angel is on his way. Praise be unto God. I love you in Jesus Christ. I'm here standing with the young people. Call on Jesus. 
He loves us so much. So do I. God bless.